countries and WHO Southeast Asia region ease lockdowns in a graded manner, future actions to combat the virus should now be guided by careful assessment of local epidemiology. Countries in the region must continue to take evidence-informed action and conduct careful risk assessments. The focus should be on local epidemiology of COVID-19 to identify hotspots and clusters and the capacity of systems and responders to find, isolate and care for cases and quarantine contacts. With countries now preparing to transition towards a new normal in which social and economic life can function, continued whole of government and whole of society approach would be critical. In addition, public health measures such as hand hygiene and respiratory etiquette need to continue. Countries in the region are in various transmission scenarios and the cases are increasing. In every transmission scenario, the core public health measures remain rapidly detect find, isolate, care, and trace contacts. Moving forward, we need to scale up these measures. WHO Southeast Asia region continues to be vulnerable in view of high population densities, mega urban slums, migrant groups, socioeconomic drivers impacting compliance to physical and social distancing, in addition to the global shortage of essential medicines and commodities. In the coming period, all efforts should be made to control and suppress the spread of COVID-19, strengthen and maintain health services, and support each other to stay safe, healthy, and well. There can be no illusions. We are in this for a long haul.